week's chapter of One Piece, we learn one very important fact about Big Mom. She is completely against contraception because this Big Mama is getting real big busy. She has a family of over 129 people. She has tons of daughters, tons of sons, and it doesn't look like she's going to be stopping any time soon. So don't get caught into the crosshairs of Big Mom's big eyes, because you know what? She might kill you by snoo snoo. So this was a deliciously sweet chapter of One Piece. We finally got to have a great confrontation between Pudding and the Straw Hat Pirates. Not only that, but we were treated to a few new characters at the very end of this week's chapters, more siblings from the Vin Smoke family. But before we get to that, let's talk about the first half of the chapter, which I honestly thought was pretty surprising. Apparently Pudding has already met Sanji, and surprisingly enough, She's actually kind of enamored with Sanji. She thinks he's pretty awesome, he's super powerful, he looks like he's basically a knight in shining armor. The thing about Sanji, though, is he is extremely dedicated to the Straw Hat Pirates, and you'd almost expect him to jump ship when he sees this beautiful woman who's just throwing herself on him. But no, he actually decides that he wants to go back and support his friends. And the fact that Pudding is really nice, Sanji's so dedicated to his friends, Pudding has actually decided to help out the Straw Hat Pirates and decides to meet them on this island so that she can bring Sanji back to them. It's a really nice twist and I like it a lot, but this scene is also really good, mostly because of the character of Pedro, who little by little is really starting to grow on me. He's that one member from the Mink Tribe who says a lot of really dark shit, basically saying that they should just ball gag freaking Pudding right there, that way they're not going to have to worry about her, but in retrospect, by doing that, that would probably make things a lot worse. You really don't want to do anything that might upset Big Mom in any way, because apparently she's pretty damn terrifying, because when the Straw Hat Pirates go back to the ship, it looks like Peckoms has decided to actually jump ship, and he even left them a note saying to turn back. But this is the Straw Hat Pirates led by Luffy. They're not going to turn around at this point. They're going to head right into the fire. In the last parts of the chapter, we go to this island which is called Brock Coley Island. You get it? It's Broccoli Island. And there's this big war that's going on, and Germa 66 is actually fighting against this huge army. And this is when we're formally introduced to a couple more brothers of Sanji. And these guys are awesome. I love their designs here. They're very different than Yonji and Reiju. They seem a little more hardcore, especially the one brother who appears early on in the chapter with these long spiky hair. He's got sunglasses on. And I'm not sure if this is an ability or this is just him commanding his soldiers, but he's about to be blasted by all of these guys with guns and he just says wall. That's all he says. Just wall, not gumu gumu, not wally wally. No, he just says it and one of his soldiers jumps right in front of him, takes all of the blasts for him. He can either command people to do this or his soldiers are that dedicated to Germa 66. Again, proving why these guys are just really badass and should be feared by everyone. And it seems like going to war, going into battles, is just another day for the Vinsmoke family. They take it with a lot of stride, knowing that it's not not really a big deal. Let's just wrap this up so I can go to my brother's wedding. And boy, can I not wait to see the confrontation between all the brothers and sisters with Sanji, because that's something that we never really saw before. You know, we can be inferred that Sanji was pretty young when he was a part of the cooking ship. I'd say I think he was like around 10 years old, maybe 12 years old at the time. Don't quote me on that. I'm sure one of you will correct me. But it's interesting because I'd like to see what sort of relationship he had with his brothers and sisters before, and even if he's going to remember them all that much. Maybe those feelings are still very strong for them. Maybe he has zero hatred for his family. He might actually be enamored to even see them again. Maybe not under these circumstances, but still it's an interesting concept I can't wait to get to. There's also another brother of Sanji who appears in this chapter who is right below the one in the final panel, and I can't tell if he actually has this or not, but if he does it's awesome. It looks like he's going to be rocking a pompadour. Again, one of the craziest things about the Vinsmoke family is that they all have very distinctive designs, yet they all sort of look like strange, weird, wacky variations of Sanji, and I think that's really cool. The big thread that's clearly holding everyone together is that their eyebrows are super curly, but they all have ridiculous haircuts and crazy powers, and they all happen to be dressing really sharply as well. It's also worth mentioning that that one brother we see this week seems to have the number one on his cape that he's wearing, which might lead me to believe believe that he's the leader of Germa 66 or maybe like the lead or like main lieutenant of the army. 
I'm having a feeling that Sanji's father is probably going to be the guy on top. Although, who knows? With Big Mom being as badass as she is, maybe Sanji's mom is no one to freaking fuck with. So, what's the rundown on this week's chapter of One Piece? Just a really great chapter with a lot of great laughs in the first half and some great action at the very end introducing some new characters. Pudding is an absolutely delightful character and getting to learn a little bit more about the entire family structure of Charlotte Linlin, Big Mama's pirate crew is pretty interesting. Just the fact that there's that many, like, daughters and sons and fathers is just kind of insane. And the fact that a lot of those sons and daughters actually have sons and daughters themselves just shows how big her family is and how, like, wide it goes across the entire ocean. It's really interesting the fact that they could, like, build that up this way. What I'm most interested in, however, is getting to see all of these sons and daughters. I mean, there's pretty much no way they can introduce all of these, but then again, I'm not going to uh, undercut One Piece for this, um, because One Piece is known for having a large number of characters, but maybe when we finally do get to this big wedding, which is bound to just be absolutely hilarious, I guarantee the wedding is not going to be stopped, and we're at least going to get to the point where it started, and they might actually end up pulling a graduate on us with Luffy running up to the glass, screaming, Sanji! Sanji! I don't know if we're going to get that parody in this series, but I think it would be really funny. This wedding is going to get started, and then it's just going to turn into this ridiculous battle and war with Big Mom and her entire family, which is, of course is going to cause a lot of discord with the Vin Smokes as well, which is going to lead to an even bigger confrontation. Hell, there's the small possibility that Luffy, Sanji, and the rest of the Straw Hat crew might even appeal to the senses of Germa 66, but the way that they're building them up as villains at this point, I honestly don't know if I can see that happening. All I know is the hype is real, and this week's chapter was pretty damn fantastic. Really funny in the first half with a lot of the moments with Brooke reacting, not to mention, of course, all the dark things that Pedro is saying, and then the second half with all the great new characters who are being introduced. This is just another great chapter of this ridiculous arc of One Piece. It also had some great artwork. On the technical side of things, I do have to say that every chapter is super detailed. There's always something really cool to look at in the panels. Not just the characters themselves, but just the designs of of the Chocolate Island in general is really nice to look at. So this is definitely a chapter of One Piece that when you read it, make sure to take your time and sort of soak everything in. All the funny moments, all the action, all the ridiculousness. So I'm going to give this week's chapter of One Piece, that's right, a four out of five. Not a perfect score. I still think the first half of the chapter went on a little too long, and I would have liked to have spent a little more time with the other members of the Vinsmoke family. That being said, this is still a super high quality chapter of One Piece that any One Piece fan should definitely check out. So there it is, four out of five from me. But I would love to hear from you guys. What did you think about this week's chapter of One Piece? Did you guys have a favorite scene from the beginning of the chapter? Are you surprised that Pudding is just so sweet? And what did you think of the end of the chapter when we were formally introduced to a few other members of the Vin Smoke family? What did you think about that guy's abilities? Do you think he just has a very dedicated soldier, or do you think he has the ability to control people? I mean, we've already seen characters like Doflamingo use people like puppets. Maybe this guy has an entire new ability that we've never seen before. And what do you want to see from the rest of the next arc in One Piece? Please tell me in the comment section below. Thank you, my friends, for watching this review. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can do that in a number of ways. You can subscribe to the channel. You can like this video. Make sure to comment on it and share it with your friends. You guys should also check out our weekly podcast show, The Powerful Nerdcast, a life-changing podcast, which you can find a link for in the description box below. Thank you guys again for watching. And as always, stay... Dandy, baby!